Hi, my name is Lori. I'm going to show you today a wide angle leg stance and I'm just going to show you a couple different ways that you can work with it. I'm also going to show you a new mudra. So this one is a Ganesh, Ganesh mudra and what you do is you clasp your hands like so and you pull your hands apart and this is the elephant, Ganesh is the elephant and it represents overcoming all obstacles. I kind of really love that, overcoming all obstacles. So we're going to use that within the pose that we, a couple of the poses that we're going to do. So I'm going to start to step my feet apart. Let's talk about feet. We haven't talked about feet. So what happens if I do this and I roll more to the inside of my foot? So this is called pronating. So I'm pronating. Now, you notice what happens to my knees. So as I'm moving, if my knees are pulling in, I'm gonna to start to feel some pain in my knees and also my hips. So let's talk about that. Now what happens if I roll out? So now I'm supinating. Think of it as a uh, bowl of soup. So now I'm supinating. So you see how my knees are turning out? And that's also, I can feel it pulling right here in my piriformis and it's just, oh, yikes, pulling on my knees. I can really feel it on this hip. So what do I need to do in order to work with my stance so that I'm not doing either one? And everybody's different. You're gonna find um, it helps to have a mirror so that you can watch yourself if you're not totally in tune with how you're moving your legs or how you're moving your feet. So I'm gonna shake out my feet. I'm walking my feet apart now. I'm gonna think about the midline instead of four corners of your feet. I'm gonna think more about the midline of my foot. Okay, spraying the toes nice and wide. And I'm going to find the arch of both feet. So when you find the arch of your feet, you can also take a Kleenex, roll it up, and stick it underneath the arch of your foot if that helps. And then I'm activating all the muscles in my legs. So the muscles on the outside of my legs, and then I'm gonna to start to come forward. So when I do this, I don't wanna lock my knees. So have you ever seen people locking their knees? So here's locking your knees. What does that do? It pulls your bottom up, my belly's coming out, my hips are dropping, and after a good amount of time, what you'll end up doing is hurting your low back and also hurting your knees. I ended up with bone on bone. <laughs> Okay, so again, taking the feet apart, activating the muscles on the outside of my legs, finding the arch of my feet really helps do that. And now I'm softening my knees slightly as I come forward through both sides. So you see I have blocks. I like props. Some people are like, oh, I don't like using props. Use the props. It gives you a little bit more space to work and it helps you work a little bit better with your alignment. So I can just feel my hamstrings just nicely stretching gently. It also gives you an opportunity to move slowly and to move to a place of comfort, not pain. So if I go beyond here, that's pain. So I'm going to move away from that a little bit and maybe I work my way in and out of that place. So as I'm coming up, I'm looking with my eyes forward instead of lifting my head. So this would be lifting my head. So I'm looking with my eyes and then I'm exhaling and just bending the elbows. And then slowly lifting. Now to come all the way up, I might bend my knees slide my hands on the inside of the knees just to make sure that I'm not pulling my knees in and I can heel toe my feet together or just rock from side to side and walk the feet together and do some circling with the hips. Okay, moving on. So now we're gonna do some asymmetry. So again, binding the arches of my feet, coming to the outside of muscles of my legs, and then I'm going to come forward. And what I'm gonna do is just take the blocks to the inside of my feet. 
So now, as I come forward, I'm reaching the arms up, fanning the arms out to the sides. About halfway down, I'm starting to twist, and now I'm just taking that right hand, pointing the fingers towards my left foot, reaching up with the right arm. Now, in order to come back to neutral, take your hand to the back of your head, you can slide your hand over to the right block, soften the knees, reach the arms up, and that way if you have any problems, issues with your neck, you know, you're not yanking your neck around and you're protecting your neck. So let's go to the other side. Reach up with the arms, fan the arms out to the side. So I'm about halfway down. I start to do the twist. So I'm moving that left fingertips towards my right foot, reaching up, finding that length. And then again, I can take my hand behind the head, slide back to both blocks, bring the blocks forward. And now I'm gonna do something different, turning the toes out. So I'm moving towards goddess pose. So before I come all the way up, just making sure I'm opening the knees. Again, pressing to the muscles on the outside of my legs, reaching the arms up. And let's go into that Ganesh Mudra, overcoming all obstacles. And breathe. And then reach up with the hands, reach up with the arms, and bring the palms into the chest. Heel toe the feet back together, or just walk the feet together. And before you move on, just start to circle the hips. Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Lori. Namaste. Hey guys, my name is Bake McBride. I am the assistant manager and group fitness director here at MOVE by BJC. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to join us for this session. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can jump on the website at www.movebybjc.org or you can give us a call, 314-286-0525. Thanks again.